available. The mobile policy area gives access to the Zscaler app portal and the configuration of security and access control policies for mobile users and devices. In the next section, we will have a detailed look at the mobile policies. This section has been created as an interactive demo to give you a feel for the navigation of the Zscaler app portal UI. You'll be asked to select the appropriate menu options to navigate the UI. You may also use the play control to proceed to the next step. Firstly, we will look at the Zscaler app portal option. Click on the policy page to expand it. To configure policy for the Zscaler app and EZ agent for mobile devices, click Zscaler App Portal. This will open the Zscaler App Portal full screen in the same browser window. The dashboard page will be shown. To see a list of the enrolled devices, click Enrolled Devices. A list of all the enrolled devices is available and details for each may be viewed. You may filter the list by user ID, device state and device OS. To access and manage app profiles, click App Profiles. App Profiles allow the setting of policy and the configuration of the Zscaler app on PCs, Windows and Macs, and on mobile devices, meaning iOS and Android. To view and manage profiles for PCs, click Post. Both Mac OS X and Windows PCs are supported. Click Windows to view and manage profiles for Windows PCs. An app profile controls the following key app settings and behaviors. Whether users must enter an admin provided password in order to log out of, disable or uninstall the app. The URL for a custom pack file if one is required how the app detects trusted networks and how it manages traffic forwarding when users are on or off a trusted network. Whether the app can install the Zscaler SSL certificate on users' devices to allow SSL inspection of traffic forwarded by the app. Also, how the app generates logs and the maximum size of its log files. You can select the order of precedence among the profiles and specify to whom each profile applies by group. When a user enrolls the app with Zscaler, the app takes into account this order of precedence and the identity of the user to download the app profile containing the appropriate policy. To manage other configuration settings and policy, click Administration. On the Zscaler App Store page, you can download the latest version of the Zscaler app for your platform. For Windows PCs, the installer may be downloaded either as a .exe or as a .msi file. You can also specify whether the app should be auto-updated. To configure end-user notifications, click Zscaler App Notifications. You have the option to add an acceptable use policy that users must accept before they can use the app. And you can specify how often this should be displayed. To configure reminder notifications, click the Reminder Notification Settings tab. On the Reminder Notification Settings tab, you can configure the security reminder displayed if the app is inactive and the frequency to display it. To manage how the app behaves when on a trusted network, click Forwarding Profile. When a user connects to a network, the Zscaler app can check the network to identify if it is one that you have designated as a trusted network, for example, your corporate network, and if so, may be configured to disable the web security service. The app accomplishes this through the Forwarding Profiles, which are referred to from the app profiles that we looked at earlier. 
To configure in-app access to the help desk, click Zscaler App Support. Here you have the option to disable login controls within the app. And you can decide whether to enable the raising of a support issue from within the app. You can specify the help desk email address to send them to and optionally allow cases to be raised with Zscaler directly. To set Zscaler app fail open behavior, click on the app fail open tab. On the app fail open tab, you can specify what the app should do when it detects a captive portal, when it is unable to reach a Zen or when app tunnel setup fails. To set advanced settings, click on the advanced configuration tab. On the advanced configuration tab, you can configure some more advanced settings. Directory sync settings are available, plus the ability to load an intermediate root certificate to the Zscaler app host devices to allow them to trust connections to servers with certificates from that CA. To configure service entitlements, click Zscaler Service Entitlement. Note that this option is only visible if you subscribe to the Zscaler Private Access Service. For ZPA customers, all users have both Zscaler Internet Access and Zscaler Private Access functionality enabled by default. Here you have the option to restrict ZPA functionality to the members of a selected group or groups. To configure the Zscaler app portal to act as a SAML identity provider, click Zscaler app IDP. On this page, you may configure the mobile portal to act as a SAML IDP to allow a silent authentication of the Zscaler app based on the user identity from the device login. You may copy the IDP URL and download the certificate required to integrate this IDP with the Zscaler admin portal and create up to eight device tokens for use during the install of the app on the client devices. To configure device posture profiles for Zscaler private access, click Device Posture. Note that this is another option that is only visible if you subscribe to the Zscaler private access service. The device posture feature is relevant only if your organization is using the Zscaler app for private access, ZPA. The device posture profile is a set of criteria that a user's device must meet in order to access applications with ZPA. For a full description of the profiles and configuration options at the Zscaler app portal, see the Zscaler app module in the ZCCP certification content. To return to the admin portal, click the Go Back link at top right. And you will be taken back to the dashboard page. Next, we will look at the mobile malware protection options. From the policy menu, select mobile malware protection. Zscaler has a default policy that prevents users from unwittingly downloading apps to mobile devices that are known to contain vulnerabilities or perform malicious activities, but allows all other apps. You can also block apps that leak certain types of information. Adjust this policy as necessary to meet your mobile malware protection needs. To view Zscaler recommended settings for this policy, click the recommended policy link. For the mobile malware protection policy, Zscaler recommends that you block malicious activity and known vulnerabilities under the Mobile App Security Actions area. 
Then, under mobile app privacy actions, we recommend that you block unencrypted user credentials and communication with ad servers. Lastly, we will look at the mobile app store control options. To manage which app stores users may download apps from, click Mobile App Store Control. The default action when no policy is configured is to allow app downloads from all app stores. You have the option to define a list of app stores from which users are not allowed to download apps. They will still be able to browse the app stores in the list, but will be blocked from downloading apps from those stores. To add a control rule, click the Add Mobile App. As with the other rule types, you can manage the rule order, rule name, and rule status. To select which app stores the rule is to apply to, click App Stores, and select the app stores to be included. Configure the rule as necessary for the standard criteria, such as uh, users, groups, departments, locations, and time. Then specify whether application downloads are to be allowed or blocked. You would then need to save the rule and, of course, activate your changes. To see Zscaler recommended settings for this policy, click the Recommended Policy link. It is difficult for Zscaler to recommend specific settings for the mobile app store control policy, as every organization will have their own perspective. The default setting is to allow all known app stores, and you should block access depending on your corporate policy. Thank you for following this Zscaler training module. We hope this module